Hey guys, this is Oksana with Craft and More Design and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I painted my exterior metal steel door into something really beautiful. Now for this project, I actually did not go and buy anything. This is all stuff I've already had in my garage while I've been decluttering. I use this exterior satin enamel. If you ever go to Home Depot or any kind of hardware store, go to the clearance aisle because you will never know what you can find. I actually found this exterior satin enamel for just two dollars gathered all my painting supplies i have my paint brushes my paint rollers my paint trays paint clothes sanding item i use this for both the door and the knob and then i have some tack cloth or some cleaning rags which everything here i pretty much purchased at home depot i use some paint sprays a screwdriver to take out the knob and of course decorations that i've already had around the house and i also use my silhouette vinyl machine to create this hello cutout but if you don't have a machine you can always find these little cutouts at your local dollar tree or walmart so first things first i went ahead and cleaned down the door since it was a little dusty and then i took my little sanding pad and i just sanded everything down this door is 15 years old Old and I did not want to have any residue showing through. I did choose this darker black color because I felt like it hid a lot of blemishes. After I finished sanding everything down, I cleaned it once more. Again, I knocked this out during several different nap times so you can see I'm changing my clothes. I'm just trying to come down here and take advantage of my one or two hours of free time a day. And then I started my painting. I took my paintbrush and I went ahead and filled in all of the edges. Those are really, really difficult to get with a paint roller. Not impossible, but it is difficult. So go ahead and get your paintbrush, fill in all the gaps, let it dry. And then start your paint job with the rollers. Keep in mind, it does have a tendency to drip paint. If it does start dripping, that you take your roller and you just go over it. Make sure you take that time, let it finish drying so that it doesn't dry tacky. Okay, so now with the doorknob, one thing I wish I would have done is taken out the doorknob earlier so I could have just spray painted it and then painted around it. But since I did not do that, I just took everything out. And this is twofold because I actually get to clean up the paint all around the knob. I know there are some methods where you can tape it and then put drop cloth and just spray it, but I didn't want to risk this metallic gold landing on any of this black. I just unscrewed everything and then I set up a little station. I spray painted it with this pure metallic gold and I let that dry, screwed it back in, and now I have this beautiful fresh knob. And right next to the knob, I have my Hello Vinyl. I did that on my Silhouette Vinyl Machine. I had this set up to about five inches by eight inches, and I went ahead and just created that to cut, and I applied it once the paint was finished drying. <laughs> have a spray paint which I just feel is so simple you can also just use a polyacrylic or anything like that that has that protective top coat to finish out your door and I did this actually after I put my vinyl down because I wanted to make sure it was all in one seal and then I let that dry and decorated last but not least I actually thrifted this beautiful wicker basket for $2.99 at a local thrift store and I loved how it looked so I put some florals in there that I already had now I did try a couple different wreaths and honestly Honestly, they all look very pretty. I got my wreaths either at Target, Hobby Lobby, or I thrifted them. So if you like any of these looks, you can find those at those stores as well. And voila, very easy. This project can take a couple hours. Just make sure you give enough time for the paint to dry. That's really what takes the longest. So I absolutely loved all the ways that I've staged the store. Again, this is a thrift store basket. This is the one from Target. And this one I really, really loved as well. It's from Hobby Lobby. If you have not checked out this Hobby Lobby video, where I share some secrets and hacks on saving money, you have to go check it out. Plus you hear me singing in the beginning, which I think is so fun. Go check that out and be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe and follow for more videos. Bye.